Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So a couple of you, I don't know who, who exactly asked me to do this, but a couple of you were mentioning and asking me to draw animal characters how I would see them as people. So like, for example, Lady and the Tramp, I would draw them as Lady and the Tramp. So I just thought that was, it was an interesting challenge to take animal characters and turn them into people. And there's been a lot of awesome cool things on Pinterest that I found of like uh, Duchess and Thomas O'Malley and just uh, regular animal characters that we all know like Pongo and Perdita, which basically looked like Roger and Anita. <laughs> so uh, it's just that sort of challenge where you take animals and you turn them into actual people characters. What I didn't really see a lot of results were for were for the movie Sing. Sing was made by Illumination, same people who made Minions and Despicable Me. Hello, here's the Sing characters. And I don't know about you guys, but I just, I thoroughly enjoy this movie because it's such, it's a good feel good movie and it's just, it's adorable. So I really like it. And if you haven't seen it yet, it's on Netflix. So there you go, there's your weekend plans. <laughs> but I really enjoy the movie Sing and I actually had to teach camp, a summer camp for a bunch of kids this past week. They were back to back camps. So I did like third grade through sixth grade and then kindergarten through second grade. So that's what I was doing and they <laughs> asked to watch Sing. So within a time period of five days, 30 minutes a piece, we finished the movie Sing. And I remember sitting next to my friend Wes, a lot of you have seen him in some of my previous videos or if you've seen him in my Instagram, uh, he helped me with one of the camps. I remember sitting next to him and I said, I think I want to turn the Sing characters into people. So I chose that I wanted to draw Mina, um, Ash, Johnny, Mr. Moon, Buster, and Rosita, Gunter, and Mike. So I'll talk about each one. So Buster Moon, I saw him as more of, I don't know, when I thought of Buster Moon, I kind of imagined him almost like um, Andy Bernard from The Office. I just kind of imagined him to be kind of like that, like the very over-enthusiastic, positive guy, and you know just really spiffy super duper dapper so i wanted to keep that cute little blue suit i tried to keep all their like outfits the same and so for rosita i saw her of course as the mother character but i saw her also someone who would like i don't know from from the 70s 80s because that hairstyle i wanted to give her more of an 80s hairstyle because i just feel like she would be like the 80s mom because she was like part of the brat pack club if you know what that is 10 points to Gryffindor <laughs> or whatever house you are from because it sh I, she just looked like she could be a character of the Brat Pack Club. So I kind of wanted to channel that into her character design when I was doodling her out. Oh, people start to ask me why. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb here, and I'm I'm a huge shipper of characters, huge shipper. So, I I mean it's crazy. Like you know how I'm I thoroughly ship Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde, and I'm not the only one in the entire universe that ships those two. I have seen kind of some people kind of share this opinion, but I think there's something going on between Ash and Buster Moon. I'm just gonna say it. I think there there was something there, especially when she goes out for the last performance in the movie, the way he looks her up and down, I was just like, whoa, there, there's something going on there. And just the way they were always like talking to each other and how he kept like demeaning her boyfriend. I was just like, wait, I think Buster Moon might like Ash or something. So that's why I put Ash next to Buster Moon. So you're probably gonna yell at me and say, Priscilla, I think Ash is a teenager. 
Well then, why is a teenager living by herself in her own apartment? Did anybody else catch on to that? So she's gotta be at least a 19 year old. So there's, there can't be that much of a difference because it looks like Buster Moon might be in his mid twenties. I don't know. Okay, don't, just if you're gonna yell at me and throw that point at me, leave in the comments below if you agree with me that you ship Buster Moon and Ash because I do. I mean, adorable koala bear and porcupine. I mean, I guess that would make cute little koala pines. I don't know. But when I was creating Ash's look, I was thinking if Avril Lavigne was still going on with her music, if you know who Avril Lavigne is, um, then you probably would agree with me that that's how I perceived Ash as a person to look like if what Avril Lavigne was still around and doing her music, kind of the rock princess porcupine all thrown in together, but as a person, I don't know. And then for Johnny's design, what I was thinking of him, there's a guy that I know that just reminds me so much of Johnny. Just like the whole like character thing going on where he is supposed to be this cool gangster dude. Not that the guy knows anywhere near like his dad doesn't own. <laughs> he's not a run he's not the head of a gang or anything like that. <laughs> just like um he's just a like a guy who's supposed to be cool but you know he wants to sing and follow his dream as like pursue theater and everything and that's how I just saw this friend in real life. I just saw that as Johnny so I kind of just put the guy I know's face on Johnny's body. That's like, if that makes sense at all. I just drew my friend who is exactly like Johnny. That, I, am I making sense? I have no idea. <laughs> but um, for Mina, I wanted Mina to be just like, okay, when I was thinking of Mina, I was thinking of like, you know, the six year old and eight year old, not that Mina, Mina was definitely a teenager in the movie, but it's just like all these powerful, eight-year-old, six-year-olds that are on America's Got Talent right now, I just look at them and I'm just like, wow. It's kind of like how Mina is, how she's just this adorable little teenager and she's not, she's just so shy and she's scared to follow her dream because she's scared to sing. And that's how I thought of Mina. So I wanted her to look like an actual 13 year old because that's how I thought Mina was and just having this powerful voice and you can't say that 13 year olds don't have powerful voices because if you watch America's Got Talent then you know the six year olds that just got the golden buzzer so guess what it's possible so it's probably like Mina's story. Haha, <laughs> Gunter, how was I going to <laughs> doodle Gunter? Well, I, we all know he's got that fantastic gold tracksuit that he wore to his audition. So he, what's, what's his accent? Is that a German accent? Cause that, that seemed more like a German accent. So I was just trying to think of a nerdy German guy. I'm not trying to be <laughs> I'm not try I'm German. Okay, so no no other Germans can give me any crap because I was just trying to think of what could a German like then I thought well I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what a, a Nerdy nerd guy is so I just thought well, let's just give him red hair. No offense to any red hair. <laughs> I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to think of a German superstar and just this crazy nerdy German superstar that can dance and everything. And I'm just, I, I don't even know why I gave him red hair. Honestly, I thought of like the family member. I'm not going to say which family member. <laughs> trying to think of a nerdy guy. My family is full of redheads. I've got plenty of redheads in my family. So I just thought, all right, I'm just going to base this character off one of my family members and please, dear God, I hope none of them watch this video in case they're going to call my mother this week and say, what was Priscilla? Who was she basing that character off of? Of Gunter? You know, the pig that can dance with the gold tracksuit and he was German? I'm... I'm moving out of my house. I quit. So for the last character, it was Mike. So when I saw Mike, I thought of Kevin Hart. I don't know why. I just, I see Mike and I just, you know, a really jerk character. 
And not that I think Kevin Hart is a jerk, but I know Kevin Hart can be a jerk. So, <laughs> and plus, I, I mean, no offense to Kevin Hart either. He's short. So Mike was short and he's just this, this egotistical maniac. So I was just like, well, Kevin Hart's kind of like that. No offense to Kevin Hart. I really love him, but I know his character, Kevin, I know Kevin Hart is probably a really big sweetheart in real life. I'm trying not to offend anyone. I'm just trying to see, I'm just trying to explain. <laughs> How I saw these characters in my head. So that's what I thought about Mike. He's short and Kevin Hart. Just like that attitude. And I don't know. But oh, I love Kevin Hart. Nobody take this wrong. <laughs> but yes, this is how I saw all these characters from Sing. It's a lot. It, this was a lot of fun. It was challenging because it, it just pushes you to a new creative level like... I don't know, you've known these characters your whole life as dogs or cats or anything and you just think, well, what if they were a person? Well, yeah, this was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments down below if you agree with how I uh, drew out these characters. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!